This is all a big con. And let me set the scene for you. Over the last 14 months, I've eaten nothing but meat, eggs and cheese. For the last three months, it's only been meat and eggs. And in that time, I've seen great results. I'm happy with my weight for the first time in my life. I no longer have tiredness and pain, better mood, better sleep and lots of other things. There is something we should talk about though. Because there's a lot of misleading information out there. And we're going to have a look at some of this stuff today. And I'll give you my thoughts on it. If you enjoy this video, I'd really appreciate it if you like and subscribe. Also, please consider supporting me on Patreon. The link for that is in the description. To get us started, let's set the scene. Very possible that. Very possible. Nothing like a good glass of Chateau de Chasselor, eh? You're right there, Obidaya. Who'd have thought 30 years ago we'd all be sitting here drinking Chateau de Chasselor, eh? Aye. In them days, we'd be glad to have a price for a cup of tea. A cup of cold tea. Without milk or sugar. Or tea. In a cracked cup and all. We never used to have a cup. We used to have to drink out a rolled up newspaper. The best we could manage was to suck on a piece of damp cloth. But you know, we were happy in those days, though we were poor. Because we were poor. My dad used to say to me, Money doesn't buy you happiness, son. He was right. I was happier then when I had nothing. We used to live in this tiny old house with great big holes in the roof. House? You were lucky to have a house. We used to live in a room, all 126 of us. No furniture, half the floor was missing. And we were all huddled together in one corner for fear of falling. You were lucky to have a room. We used to have to live in corridor. Oh, we used to dream of living in a corridor. Would have been a palace to us. We used to live in an old water tank and a rubbish tip. We got woke every morning by having a load of rotting fish dumped all over us. House. <laughs> well, when I say house, it was only a hole in the ground covered by a sheet of tarpaulin. But it was a house to us. We were evicted from our hole in the ground. We had to go and live in a lake. You were lucky to have a lake. There were 160 of us living in shoebox in Middle at Road. Cardboard box. Aye, you were lucky. We lived for three months in a paper bag and a septic tank. We used to have to get up at six o'clock in the morning, clean the bag, eat a crust of stale bread, go to work down mill for 14 hours a day, week in, week out. And when we got home, our dad would thrash us to sleep with his belt. Luxury. We used to have to get out at lake at three o'clock in the morning, clean the lake, eat a handful of hot gravel, go to work every day at Aunt Mill for twopence a month, come home and Dad would beat us around the head and neck with a broken bottle if we were lucky. Well, we had it tough. We used to have to get out at shoebox at twelve o'clock at night and lick road clean we our tongues. We ate half a handful of freezing gravel, worked 24 hours a day at Aunt Mill for fourpence every six years, and when we got home, our Dad would slice us in two with bread knife. Right. I had to get a bit morning at 10 o'clock at night, half an hour before he went to bed. Drink a cup of sulfuric acid. Work 29 hours a day down mill. And pay a mill owner for permission to come to work. And when we got home, our mother and father would kill us and dance about in our grave singing hallelujah. And if you wanted to get type 2 diabetes, you had to be an alcoholic. But you try and tell the young people of today that. And they won't believe you. They won't. They won't. So let's talk about type 2 diabetes. Years ago, type 2 diabetes was something that was associated mainly with alcoholics. But that's no longer the case. But still, sadly, there are people out there that want you to believe that the cause of diabetes is red meat and saturated fat. So I went over to Google and I typed in reverse type 2 diabetes. Let's have a look at what we got. Nebraska Medicine. Is it possible to reverse diabetes? Now, I had a quick look at these before, and uh, Nebraska Medicine um, doesn't have a lot of detail on their website. They've got this list, but there's not a lot of detail in this. So we're going to go down and have a look for one that has a little bit more meat. No pun intended. All right. Uh, so Diabetes UK. Let's have a look at this. Reversing type 2 diabetes, how it works. Okay, so let's see what we've got okay and i need to accept some cookies okay we don't call it diabetes reversal because this might sound like it's permanent and there's no guarantee that your diabetes has gone forever 
But yes, it may be possible to put your type 2 diabetes into remission. This is when your blood sugar levels are below the diabetes range and you don't need to take diabetes medication anymore. This could be life-changing. How do you reverse diabetes? The strongest evidence the strongest evidence we have at the moment suggests that type 2 diabetes is mainly put into remission by weight loss. Remission is more likely if you lose weight as soon as possible after your diabetes diagnosis. However, we do know of people who have put their diabetes into remission 25 years after diagnosis. If you have obesity, your diabetes is more likely to go into remission if you lose a substantial amount of weight. 15 kilograms or 2 stone 5 pounds as quickly and safely as possible following diagnosis. So we need to lose 15 kilos, about 30 pounds. So what we're going to do is um, we need to do it quickly. Just cut your arms and legs off. Job's done. Okay. Because um, that they're not going into any details about what it is that will help you lose weight. It's just you need to lose weight. Okay. So I'm assuming water weight and limb weight is the same as fat weight as far as they're concerned. It's important to know that not everyone who loses this much weight will be able to put their diabetes into remission, but losing 15 kilos comes with a lot of health benefits. If not having your arms and legs is a health benefit, <laughs> even if you don't, it doesn't lead to remission. That sentence is wrong. Research shows that getting support to lose just 5% of your body weight can have huge benefits for your health. Losing extra weight can lead to fewer medications, better blood sugar levels, a lower risk of complications. Here's how it all works. Okay, no, we're not going to watch a video here. Why is it about losing weight? Well, our scientists believe that storing too much fat in the liver and pancreas affects how type 2 diabetes develops and losing this fat can put your diabetes into remission. Yet, you know how that fat gets there. It's from overconsumption of things like alcohol and alcohol-like substances such as fructose. And that's what leads to having a fatty liver. Um, how can I lose weight? Some people have lost a substantial amount of weight and put their diabetes into remission through lifestyle and diet changes or by having weight loss surgery. See? Cut your arms and legs off. Job's done. Oh, called bariatric surgery. Okay, so get in here, Garth Davis. There is no such thing as a special diet for people with diabetes or those aiming for diabetes reversal. There are a lot. Yes, there is. There is a special diet for people with diabetes. It is a zero carb diet. It is not feeding the problem. Zero carb all the way. And, uh, you know, the benefits of that are you get to keep your limbs and lose weight at the same time. And you're most likely going to be losing fat. All right. So there are a lot of different ways to lose weight, but there's no one size fits all diet. We do know that some people have put the, their diabetes into remission by losing weight through following the Mediterranean diet or a low carb diet. All right. Um, so let's look at WebMD. WebMD the uh, the resource for everybody. Can you reverse type 2 diabetes? Let's go. All right. Although there's no cure for type 2 diabetes, studies show it's possible for some people to reverse it. And actually, let's just take a step back. One thing that I do appreciate about Diabetes UK is at least they said a low-carb diet might be successful. Anyway, on with this one. Through diet changes and weight loss, you may be able to reach and hold normal blood sugar levels without medication. This doesn't mean you're completely cured. Type 2 diabetes is an ongoing disease, even if you're in remission, which means you aren't taking medication and your blood sugar levels stay in a healthy range. There's always a chance that symptoms will return. Use a period. I haven't got that much breath. But it's possible for some people to go years without trouble controlling their glucose and the health concerns that come with diabetes. So how can you reverse diabetes? The key seems to be weight loss. I would say the key seems to be put the muffins down. Put the donuts down. That's the key. All right. Put the bread down. 
Um, okay, so uh, not only shedding pounds, not only can shedding pounds help you manage your diabetes, sometimes losing enough weight can help you live diabetes free. Hallelujah. Especially if you've only had the disease for a few years and haven't needed insulin. Low calorie diet. Several studies in England have looked at the effects of a very low calorie diet on overweight people with diabetes. Two people had to follow mostly liquid diet of 625 to 850 calories a day for two to five months. Yeah, it got rid of their diabetes. It killed them. Like, what? <laughs> This is ridiculous. 625 to 850, 625 calories a day. Who, who can live on that? Like, and this is so ridiculous. This is you don't have to do this. You don't have to give someone 625 calories a day and say that's your lot, buddy. You either do this or you get rid of your arms and legs. That's got, you know, that's not the answer. The answer is stop feeding them sugar and products that turn into sugar when it goes into your body. Not like 625 calories and majority of those calories, because, you know, saturated fat's bad, majority of those calories are going to be garbage calories. It'll be like an OptiFast shake or something. Anyway, let's get on with this story. Both studies found that nearly half the people that took part reversed their diabetes. The other half died and uh, kept their blood glucose near the normal range for at least six months to a year. Yeah, until you let them loose and allowed them to eat more than 625 calories a day. And then they went back to the way they were. This type of diet is extreme. No shit, Sherlock. It means working with the professional and very and being very controlled with how many calories you eat, but the chance that it could send you into remission may give you strong motivation to stick to it. Yeah, but stick to it. You're going to stick to it for four months, five months, six months, maybe tops, and then you'll go back to regular patterns of eating. And it will start slowly, but you'll gradually go back to those normal patterns of eating and you're back where you started. Most of the people who reversed their type 2 diabetes lost 30 pounds or more. They also hadn't had diabetes as long as those who weren't as successful. So it's important to get started on a weight loss plan as soon as possible after you're diagnosed. You don't need a weight loss plan. You need to cut out the sugar and the stuff that turns to sugar when you ingest it. That's all you need to do. Cut out the bread, the pastries, the rice, the uh, spaghetti, the breads, the everything like that, the potatoes, just go zero carb. Just cut the carbs to zero. Focus on eating meat and eggs. And if you have to have carbs, have something like an avocado. Like, don't don't go for all the garbage that they're trying to sell you, the breakfast cereals and stuff. Cut it all out. And guess what's going to happen? You're not going to have the diabetes for much longer. What happens? Okay, so we're not going into that detail. I, I mean, no one's overtly demonized saturated fat for a change, but, you know, it's not far off. Okay, can, let, let's, this last one. Can type 2 diabetes be reversed? Not with this crap. Okay, type 2 diabetes, formerly known as adult onset or non-insulin dependent diabetes, can be a lifelong chronic disease in which the body does not produce enough insulin. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Type 2 diabetes is more likely to occur in people who are eating crap who are over the age of 40. No, no, no. Like, it's not anymore um, overweight or have a family history of diabetes. Certain ethnic and racial groups also have a higher risk for type 2 diabetes. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Okay, but the question is, can it be reversed? Do you have any... Oh, this is just useless, this one. But hang on, let, let's talk about remission and not a cure because it isn't permanent. The beta cells have been damaged and the underlying genetic factors contributing to a person's susceptibility to diabetes remain intact. Over time, the disease... Oh, again, use a period, use a comma. All right, 
Patients may also go into remission when prior to treatment they were glucose toxic. Glucose toxicity can temporarily shut down. Okay, so there's no recommendations about change the way you eat. We've got a picture of an apple. So apparently you're going to eat apples and broccoli. All right. Um, okay, so... Although remission can be achieved by standard medical means of lifestyle manipulation, many remissions are a consequence of gastric bypass surgery. Oh, this wouldn't be a gastric bypass surgery um, business or affiliate of Joslin Diabetes Center. Okay. Um, gastric bypass is considered generally by those whose BMI and medical conditions yeah, okay, well, there's no information here. Okay, so no one's overly demonizing saturated fat or meat in these articles that I can see. However, the problem remains that a lot of the people out there are telling the general public that red meat and saturated fat are the keys to give you diabetes, type 2 diabetes. And the reality is that's not the case at all. The thing that's actually going to give you type 2 diabetes are the things that are going to make your blood sugar bounce around like it's on a trampoline. And those things are the processed foods, the sugars, the cereals, the breads, the rice, the potatoes, all that garbage, the fruit. All of those things are going to spike your blood sugar and that's what's going to give you type 2 diabetes. So unless you get those things out of your diet, that's where you'll remain. Guys, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to click like and subscribe and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.